the Son. Amen. Say with me, all things were made by him. Amen. And without him was not anything made. That means that everything, there, no existence came into being apart from him. And that's why when we understand, when you hear us saying about the ye are gods, don't let that frighten you. Ye are gods, that is just dealing with the aspect that I and my father are one. Because I'm connected with that body of ocean, as long as I'm in the ocean, I'm in the ocean. Separate me from the ocean, that's the sin. Sit me in another environment, in another space. You will no longer say that that glass of water is the ocean because it has been separated from its source. The same thing with you as you are a partaker of that divine nature. As long as I am in him, in him I live and move and have my being, I am. Separate me, I am not. Amen. Touch your neighbor and say, that's so simple. See, even a fool could understand that. Amen. And see, the real sin is that many of us miss the mark because we are wrestling or we are not willing to take responsibility of our divinity. Amen. Let's move on. The Living Bible said he created everything. There is nothing exists that, di that he didn't make. Let's move on. Thoughts are, let's see what thoughts are. Thoughts are things which can be controlled and what? Regulate your thoughts, regulate the things that manifest in your life. The character of the idea that a word conveys determines whether it is constructive or what? That's why you've got to understand the ideas that are in your head, you've got to determine its character. Amen. You've got to determine its, its being. You've got to begin to challenge it. You've got to pull it into proper orbit. Let's move on. Man makes his what? World by his what? Say with me, I make my world by my word. If you don't like the world that you are in, change it by using other words. I have a meditation that was given to me the other day that I use constantly. Now, I was using it all this week. I wasn't applying until I began to memorize it. And this was given to me, amen, and so I started memorizing it. And I just kept saying it over and over, and, this, and, and certain realities started sinking in, amen. And one of the parts of the saying, amen, it goes like this. It says, um, I now enter the theater of my mind. Do you not know that your mind is a theater? Amen. And I love it. That's why Reverend Ike and I, we're going to get together with the church here on some Saturdays and do some visualization so that we get y'all seeing right. But it says, I now enter the theater of my mind and I walk out on the stage of, of my imagination. See, now, see, we're ready to create. We've now entered the theater of our mind, and we now walk on the stage of our imagination. And I now see myself the way God sees me. Perfect, whole, and complete. I am not a rerun of yesterday, but I am a beacon of light that is shining for all to see. And everyone that comes in contact with me, they feel the benediction of my consciousness. See, when you begin to understand that, when you start going into meditation, all you got to do is sink back into the theater of your mind and walk on the stage of your imagination. See, even out of that word imagination, you start walking out on the stage and saying, let there be, and start creating the images. You gotta know how to take a seat in the theater of your mind. And you gotta know how to step out 
on the stage of your imagination. Woo, Jesus. And see, what has happened is that you've been sitting in a horror movie. You've been sitting in the theater, but you've paid for the wrong picture. You paid attention. See, because to get in this theater, all you got to do is pay attention. You paid attention and went into the wrong motion picture. But when you began to get to the point where you began to enter into the theater of your mind and you began to step out and walk on the stage of your imagination and you start to see yourself through the eyes of God, perfect, whole, and complete. You begin to tell yourself, I am not a rerun of yesterday, but I'm a beacon of light shining forth for all to see in everyone that even comes in contact with me you will feel the benediction of my consciousness Whew. can you feel me right now you will feel the benediction of my consciousness I am rich I am strong, I am healthy, I am wise, I am that I am. I am victorious, I am infinite money, I am powerful, I am a co-creator with God. I and my Father are one. You got to step on the stage of your imagination. Woo, Jesus. You can't look at your reruns. The problem has been is that many of you are beholding the reruns. I am not a rerun of yesterday. I do not rewind or do any playbacks. Because he is omnipotent Omni be, means many and potent. Out of the word potent, I see the word coming out of that potential. He's full of things that have never been experienced before. I am not a rerun. I am full of things that have never been done. I'm a beacon of light shining for all to see. And whenever you get into my presence, you will feel the benediction of my consciousness. That's why you can't walk in just anybody's presence, because you're feeling their benediction. And if their consciousness is not right, you're getting the wrong blessing. Ooh. Eat up, Oshah. You full of negative energy, I'm moving you from around me. I don't want that benediction. But when you are thinking right like I am that I am, then I want to get around you and inhale you. You will feel the benediction of my consciousness. Oh, Shabba. Jesus. You've been around some of the wrong benedictions. Jesus. You've been around negative folks. But when you understand who you are, you need to get a moment and tell the enemy, I've got to steal away for a while. When you begin to understand the enemy, you understand the enemy is only an, an illusion that you've created and that you've made. And you've made it when you stepped out upon the stage of your imagination. Amen. Who has hypnotized you? Who has bewitched you? Woo, Jesus. So now when you begin to understand who you are, you need to sit back and fold your hands because you said I paid mine for this picture. Woo. I now enter into the theater of my mind. Oh, Shabbat.
What's the fair? 850, 10 bucks, 70 dollars?